So we have Ezra Firestone here. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> with Carl Philip Lund. Yes. Uh, you work with a lot of e-commerce companies? Yeah, well, I don't you actually... Run I, run, e I run an e-commerce company, but yeah. I also get the opportunity to like engage with a bunch of e-commerce companies mm -hmm. because I do educational courses mm -hmm. for e-commerce businesses, so I get like the chance to not only have my own, but see what's happening across yeah. a whole bunch of them, you know? And you share a lot. I share, yeah, I share what's working for me, you know? Yeah. Which is like one view of e-commerce. It's not the only view, but it's my view, you know? Yeah. Uh, in Norway, there's a lot of e-commerce companies. Cool. If you could give them three uh, pieces of advice, what would those be? One thing that I'm seeing, should I talk to you or talk to the brand? Yeah. Talk to Whatever. What? We <laughs> one, can go closer. Yeah. <laughs> one, one, one thing that I'm seeing is that the sales cycle has gone, most people think of it as a 28 day process, right? Like that's kind of like what you think if you lost someone after 28 days, they're gone. Mm -hmm. We're seeing like 90 day sales cycles now because people are consuming on mobile little bits uh, all throughout the day. And so basically what we're doing is with our, I think there's a lot more money to be made in retargeting if you do it well. So for example, someone visits your product page, right? The first three days you show them a customer testimonial. Then you build an audience of people who visited in the last seven days and you exclude the three day people and you show them a different piece of content, like a piece of content that's about ownership benefit of the product. Then seven to 14 days, you show them like maybe a discount deal. And so you kind of like have sequenced content based on how long it's been since they've engaged with you. And we're seeing now that like, if you come through our, our site and you click on a Facebook ad, within the first 14 days, we have a 1% conversion rate. Mm -hmm. The first 28 days, we have a 2% conversion rate. By the time it gets to 90 days, between emails, ads, retargeting, we've converted 3%. So be, because we're focusing on a longer sales cycle, we're increasing our business significantly. And I think that like with the way that the digital medium is being consumed, which is little bits, all throughout the day, on their yeah. iPhone, mm -hmm. um, just what we're seeing is an elongation of the sales cycle. It's not that 28-day traditional sales cycle that you're used to. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't think that the ad platforms have caught up, right? You notice if you run on Facebook ads, maybe there's too much information too no, fast. go for it. But they will give you a, a view of click to buy of like seven days, one day, 28 days. Mm -hmm. They don't give you yet 90 days. You gotta go into Facebook and look at that, you know, mm -hmm. and Google Analytics. So basically, the, the gist of all of that is Consider your purchase cycle from someone getting, getting visibility, so awareness, getting attention with an ad or something like that, all the way through to when they buy, mm -hmm. to be much longer than you think it is. Mm -hmm. and, and give yourself content and, and plan for advertising that is in a longer sequence. So 90 days, that's what you I think day. you should have a three month prospect cycle. Mm -hmm. It's hard for a lot of people to achieve that, so maybe you start with 45 days instead of 30, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. but, that's what we're thinking. We're, we are sort of going into each pillar, right? There's awareness where you're getting people's attention. Then there's retargeting, mm -hmm. which is re-engaging with someone based on how they interact with you. Mm -hmm. That's where most of your, your, your sales are coming from. Mm -hmm. They're not coming from click, you know, click buy. It doesn't no. work that way. It works like they watch a video on Facebook, maybe they never click. Follow up with them, oh, they watch this video, show them this other thing. Then maybe they do click and they don't ever visit a product. So it's like the sales cycle is really long. Mm -hmm. It's longer than most people think. Interesting. And you talked a lot about uh, chatbots. Yep. Uh, and you. Which chatbots are going through? Just yesterday, Facebook yes. smacked all the chatbots. They closed it down. Well, they closed it down for new people trying to open up Messenger bots mm -hmm. because there's all this data privacy concerns. It'll open back up in a couple of weeks, but for now, you if you don't have a chatbot right yeah. now, yeah. you can't create a new one. No. For the next uh, couple weeks. Because I had I, I had one, but I tried to connect to another page, oh, no. and it didn't work. Yeah, exactly. So they, they shut it down. But but you you talked a little bit about uh, how you used email to build an audience on chat. Can you talk yes. a little bit about so, that? So here's the way I think about it: that your brand basically you have three ways to communicate. Mm -hmm. Pixeled audiences, which are ads, mm -hmm. emails, mm -hmm. and now Messenger. Yeah, That's it, That's the, that is how you communicate what you have to sell or what you have to say to the group of people who might be interested. There really isn't, I mean some people have YouTube. mobile apps. Well YouTube is gonna be an ad, right? Or You're gonna advertise to people with a video on YouTube. That's still advertising, right? They go to YouTube and they see your ad or they go to YouTube and they find your content. Yeah. Organically, maybe, but for the most part, you're running ads on YouTube if you want to scale. For yeah, example, but email, might, email, to, email to a YouTube uh, video. So sure. You, but, I guess you use email. But to the point connect. is, if you're going to communicate with someone who's mm -hmm. in your orbit, mm -hmm. you're doing it by getting their attention with an ad, yep. sending them an email, yep. or messaging them, basically. Yep. So I think what we think about is how do we get all of our prospects 
on every communication medium. We want them on our email list, we want them on our Pixel yeah, audiences, you just want to transfer them over. and we want them on our Facebook Messenger yeah, list. Yeah, and so, be early on. Exactly, so, so we're emailing people saying, hey, get 20% off, click over here, open up Facebook Messenger, we'll give you a deal. So we're Build taking people from our email list, we're putting them in Messenger, yeah. we're running ads to people and saying, join our Messenger list, so we're trying to build that communication channel while Excellent. it's cheap. Excellent, one more question. Yes. Uh, I teach at a university in, uh, in Norway. Okay, what do you teach? Uh, uh, digital marketing. Cool. Uh, and some of my students are probably gonna see this. Hey, and, and well, <laughs> young, I love the young guys coming yeah. up, and the young gals yeah. know, coming up. And you didn't. Cool. You said you didn't do too well in school. I failed miserably. I and was considered a dumb kid, you know, by the school system. Yeah, and there's a problem with the school system, I, I think. Agree. I agree. But what would you tell, what would you tell uh, your, yourself uh, if you okay, could, so, so I give them some for advice. For sure, I have no experience in Norway's school system. So let me just clarify that up front. I have experience in the United States school system, and I felt like I was being stuck behind a desk all day to be trained to go sit behind a desk all day. You know what I mean? And yeah. Factory. I just it didn't work for me, and I, I it was too slow, and I, I just was not. I like basically failed out of high school. I barely got out of there. I never made it to college. And so here's what I think. I think that today's environment. The, probably the best skill set that you're going to acquire is a no, you're going to be a knowledge worker for the most part, right? A yeah. lot of people who are watching this are looking to become knowledge workers, right? Yeah. Meaning you want to work digitally, you want the laptop lifestyle. So, I would say pick one skill set and become a master at it. What's up, Austin Bronner? Uh, come on the video. This is Austin yeah. Bronner, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I hope the video's uh, on. Austin yeah. Bronner has, what's your website? Nice to meet Ecommerceinfluence.com. You. Ecommerceinfluence.com. He's got a podcast. He'll teach you all about email marketing. Check him out. Where are you from? Uh, I live in Austin. Austin, Austin yeah, great. from Austin, Austin because that's not. Where do you, you live in New York? I'm in New York. <laughs> but where are you from originally? Or uh, I grew up in Hawaii, in California. In California. But I have one thing to say. I want to finish this advice. I'm going to kick you off the video. All right. So it's <laughs> good to see you, man. Good to see you. Um, so here's what I think you should do: pick a skill set, be it Facebook advertising, social media, um, you know, email marketing, chat. website design, chatbots. One thing and become a specialist. And here's the thing about becoming a specialist. Like, you get what you want from people who have it. You find someone who's doing what you want, you learn from them. Second thing is hey that. Guys, just FYI, we're starting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. two minutes. Second thing is that repetition creates mastery. The way that you get good at something is by doing it over and over. And the skill set that you want as a human being is the skill set of mastery, which is simply the willingness to put your attention in one area consistently over time. Consistently. You pick up an instrument every day for 30 minutes, you get better at it. So, And the interesting thing about mastering one thing is it gives you context on the whole space. So I think become a specialist, learn one thing really well, which will teach you, and you'll know where that fits in the greater picture of this industry of online marketing if you're interested in it. So I'd pick a skill set, I'd master it, I'd listen to this guy. Where, where should they go to learn more? Smartmarketer.com. Excellent. Thank you. Appreciate it.